In the next boxing series, we are going to learn what is called the relationship between the nine weapons. That is to practice the hands, the knees, feet and elbows. There are seven series. Each series uses different weapons. For example, using the hands, knees, feet and elbows. Alternatively, offensively, defensively, back, front, side or all four directions. We will study them as follows. Chayot Thai boxing is a theory and art to manage your life, balancing the mind and the body to perfection. It has been in Thai heritage for hundreds of years and many generations. Next is the practice for each form. This is the Trung Tab form. Punch with the right fist directly and followed by the Pa Satan elbow form. That is, put the elbow up. Next is the Kron Pak Tam form. The focus in the movement is dodging to avoid the brush or knowing the snatch timing. These forms are called the Rugra Chak and the Chak Witi. This is a defense method followed by the Kao Yudyota form. Move forward with the Tree Tab form and pull the body into the opposite direction using the Sakot Man form. That is, kicking with the end of the foot. Next is the Klun Pratob Fang form. You kick with the shin and move backward. and prepare to slide on with the Yanyota form. This form is to prevent the opponent from attacking at the side and then turn the body in the Jot Sam Kung form followed by the elbow form called the Klom Kwang. Next is the Fa Talom form which is to flick the elbow backward. These forms focus mainly on the elbow. Krom Kwang is flicking the elbow back to the front. Next is the Nang Leo form, which is to elbow back down. To put up your elbow by emphasizing on power or the dodging in defense, the boxer has to move forward continuously. You have to focus on a target so as to maximize your kick or the retreat or kicking at the side continuously and harmoniously. You have to show the harmony between the punch and the elbow and how to use the integration of these weapons. The boxer should move forward continuously and agilely to coincide with a gentle but powerful motion. Move gently while the opponent fights or retaliates or attacks him quickly, accurately and firmly.
These are the important factors in practicing the relationship of the nine weapons. The target to punch is at the front. Example, the lower chin. Use either the punch or elbow. This is the Kruan Pak Tam. Elbow parallel to the back part of the neck. The retreat, dodging and shielding is called the Pat Wag, the Kratob Nok or the Kratob Nai. Next is the knee. Stress the power on the kneecap rather than twisting the body in order to avoid the opponent's attack. At the same time, fight back when the opponent loses his balance, followed immediately by kicking and shoving. Kick at his body with the Kroon Kratob Fang form. Dodge by breaking through the inner circle and elbow. Next is the elbow down. You can see all the movements and the target to attack. The movements we are looking at are gentle, flexible, harmonious, quick, firm and accurate. Practice regularly and repeatedly so as to acquire the skill and expertise needed. Relationship of the Nine Weapons Practice Series 2. Most of the practice forms are for the defense, protection, and retaliation. This is a defense boxing rather than an offensive boxing by retaliating, blocking, and attacking both top and bottom parts alternatively. This is a practice strategy so that the boxer can acquire the expertise in offensive and defensive areas. The uppercut and punch by the Transatru Rurachak form. Look at the opponent's tactics, jerk and then retaliate immediately. Block an elbow back with the Chagriti form and the pre calcei form. They are defense and retaliation forms. This is the Koimacha form, that is to brush away and punch. Next is the Pit KC form, which is to protect against the upper elbow, knee and elbow, alternatively and continuously. From these practices, the boxer can acquire the expertise to dodge and defend tactfully. This is to show the power of the blocking and retaliation. The dodging and pulling forms to hit, block and retaliate continuously.
The fighters or boxers have to learn every form because in real life situations they don't know what the situation will be or when they have to defend, block or retaliate. We have to acquire the expertise and emphasize on the target that we are fighting, defensively or offensively. Shield by using a punch or elbow and direct it at the vital parts of the body. We have to observe the offensive and defensive movements. We practice different forms so as to acquire the expertise and accuracy in targeting. These forms include to retaliate, defend and offend continuously. Therefore, to practice the relationship with the Nine Weapons series, the boxer has to move the body swiftly and continuously. Combine all the Nine Weapons In order to achieve the efficiency, we have to practice regularly until we can acquire the expertise. This practice series is a swift, harmonious and continuous movement of the body in defense and offense forms. The boxer has to practice regularly and remember all the forms. For example, the trun tab form, the opponent moves forward to punch at the shoulders. Next is the kicking form, or krun kratob fang form, and the tib asawa payot form, which emphasizes on using the side of the foot. The sakot man emphasizes the end of the foot. Chom man fa focuses on the chin. The Ruka Chak is blocking and retaliating back immediately by sweep kicking lowly, called the Quat Ban Pot form. Next is the T Tab form, which emphasizes on using the knees left and right. Next is the Yut Yota form, using the back to bump forward. Finally, the Yan Yoti form is to turn the body back. This is to show the targets and continuous movements in kicking the stomach and neck. Block and fight back by sweep kicking over the lower parts. Called the Quat Ban Pot. Followed by kneeing against the stomach and ribs. Shove the opponent away. These offensive and defensive forms are continuous. If we practice this series alone, we cannot imagine the retaliation or attack. However, when the boxes meet, we can see the tactics and strategy 
more clearly. In order to practice the relationship with the nine weapons, the boxer has to transfer his thought from one place to another. That is, transfer to the body, hands, feet, knees and elbows. The mind gives orders to the continuous movements so that they can harmonize as one, like a natural water flow. Next is the relationship with the Nine Weapons Series 4. Most of the forms use the foot in relation to the hands to defend. Offend both back, front, right and left, all four directions. This practice series emphasizes on the foot. For example, the Yanyoti form, crocodile kick, quad banpot, krut tayan, tala choi chit, followed by the yut yota, and closed by the naka bid hang form. Kick in the air with the tayan dong form, and turn the body with the Asawa Payot form. This form emphasizes mainly on the foot to offend. The boxing forms are harmonious, continuous, accurate and firm. You have to practice until acquiring the expertise. You have to observe the target, the vital points of the opponent's body. Observe which part of the body, the chin, foot and kick hits the target and the following forms. This is a demonstration of blocking and retaliation to the vital parts of the body. For example, the bladder, the throat, the neck and the earlobes. The demonstration shows how to use the weapons both in front and behind. You can observe and learn the defensive, offensive and retaliation forms. The relationship between the nine weapons is like a continuous river flow. The complete forms are the offensive, retreat, from right to left, back up and dodging. Use all the forms alternatively and tactfully. Relationships with the Nine Weapons Practice Series 5. To adjust the punching with the elbows, knees and feet, the changing of the forms are swift, agile and continuous. In this relationship with the Nine Weapons series, the emphasis is on using three kinds of force. The amount of force, 
direction of force and psychology. For example, this series focus on the punch and elbow forms together with the knee forms both front and back in retaliation. Apply these forms to the target continuously, swiftly, accurately and alternatively. The boxers have to remember everything taught precisely, including each point and form that we are demonstrating. The boxers have to realize that they cannot achieve success merely by strength, but only through vigorous practice to move the body and dodge swiftly. The movement here looks like a circle called the tornado. The continuous movement looks like a circle, as we can see in the demonstration. From the first series until the present series, our purpose is to combine all the forms to show the punch series, followed by the elbow series and the knees, both left and right, while the opponent is at the disadvantage. Next are the front and back forms, both low and high, applied alternatively. This is an offensive and defensive strategy. We can learn the relationship in fighting from each practice series. When we practice the relationship with the nine weapon series, we stress on continuous, accurate, swift and firm movement. The boxer has to practice vigorously until he acquires the expertise so that he can fight efficiently. Relationship with the Nine Weapons, Practice Series 6. This practice focuses on continuous, firm, flexible and natural forms, just like a lion attacking its prey. The defensive and offensive forms include flicking, retreat, turning, tempting, tricking, blocking and intervening with the different weapons targeting the vital points. Begin with the Sakot Tab form and attack with the Sakot Man form. followed by the Chom Man Fa, crocodile kick, and the Plung Pecha Hung form, to jerk and attack continuously with a repeated crocodile kick. Pull the body with the Taiyan Dong form, and kick low with the Tod Jai Hai form. Chawa Sat Hok and Asawa Payot forms. All these forms are serious, powerful, firm and accurate. Let the people observe the right movement 
followed by the kick. When the opponent dodges, use the crocodile kick successively. Attack both on the left and right sides. Observe each form and vital point. This is blocking and retaliation form by using the chin and elbow back by turning the body with the Asawa Payot form. Every practice form in the relationship with the nine weapon series is firm, like the mountain, moves like the river flows, attacks like a lion, and swift like a tornado. When we combine everything, the forms of all the relationships with the nine weapon series are perfect. Relationships with the nine weapons practice series seven. In this series, we can see the swiftness and agility in retreat, dodging, defense, offense, blocking and retaliation by applying the standing form, sitting form, sleeping form, somersault form, and turning to harmonize with the nature similar to the fighting between lions. Most of the forms in the series seven focus on practicing the body movements so as to achieve the swiftness and agility in dodging and blocking the upper and lower parts. For the offensive and defensive forms, move in a circular way, like a tornado changing its directions, attach and harmonize. These are the outstanding points of this form. After practicing and acquiring the expertise, we have to learn the characteristics and names of different forms. The kicking form is a Yan Pupa form. Retreat and flick back the foot with a Yan Yota form. Then it is the Asawa Payot form. These forms include sitting, standing, getting up, and springing up. Kick with the planton form, and turn the body back with the crocodile form. Therefore, the boxer has to be firm and strong in using the foot continuously in the kumpi pirot form. Retreat, turn, avoid, and block with the vanon kluk fun form. When the boxer is well versed in the offensive, defensive, retreat, tricks and retaliation forms, even though he is at the disadvantage at times, he will be able to reverse the situation to his advantage and become the attacker instead.
This is to show the dodging, offence and retaliation alternatively, to show that the boxer may be at the disadvantage on certain occasions, but he can reverse the situation and become the attacker too. The boxer must use the forms quickly. To achieve mastery, practice daily, weekly, monthly, all the time, until proficient at these forms. This is most important during an actual situation. Practice method for the defensive, brushing and blocking forms. These are other methods. This is the way to dodge, fight and protect by blocking or dodging. Avoid the attacker in the inner and outer circle. This is the way to learn about self-defense. The important point of this form is the blocking of the inner and outer circle and lower parts. For example, the straight punch. The throwing of a punch. And kick, kick and kick. This is the dodging to avoid the collision and follow the opponent closely. Some people may misunderstand in some cases. It is not safe to block the kick with your hand as you may break your hand because it is smaller than the leg. Therefore, in this case for more safety, the boxer should step out of the way or move to the side. The upper punch is the same. If the boxer defends in return, both parties may get injured. Sometimes, if our body is weaker than the opponent, it is not safe if the collision occurs. We will dodge or punch like this to avoid being followed up by the opponent. The important points to learn about this form are 1. How to use the hands 2. How to manipulate the punch and 3. The footsteps, the retreat and advance. The boxer has to relate all the footsteps as well as use the hands to block both the inner and outer circle and block the upper and lower parts against the collision with the opponent. The important points for this series 
are the defensive, brushing and blocking forms. For those who practice boxing, it is good to practice the defensive, brushing and blocking forms to protect against the opponent's attack. After dodging and blocking to free from any danger, it is time to attack the other party as well. Therefore, the practice in this series are important for basic boxing training. That is, knowledge, training and self-defense. After learning about self-defense, it is time to learn about the offensive tactics which we use our body parts as the weapons to attack the opponent. After acquiring the expertise in breaking through, attack, return, dodge, block, avoid, twist, turn and block, we combine them with the offensive tactics. The result is the form which we have seen already. These forms are further systematically combined with the relationship of the nine weapons or the offensive and defensive tactics. This is the way of foot placement. The turn, twist, avoid, chopping, stepping, moving, retreat and tactics. Use the hands and feet together. If we cannot exchange the stepping, retreat, get up, avoid and dodge alternatively then it will be difficult to keep moving continuously on the feet the opportunity to attack the opponent will also be difficult to come by most of the time this point is overlooked therefore we want to emphasize on the different forms
This is how to practice the hands to block, dodge, and avoid. These defensive forms are not achieved in two hours. It will take months and years of practice. The more we practice, the more expertise we will acquire. Thus, we have to practice dodging continuously. Move the hands and feet swiftly and harmoniously. The most important thing is the eyesight, as we need to fix our eyes on the opponent's movements while they are fighting all the time. Practice method for the hands, knees, feet, and elbows. In ancient times, people did not have that much equipment, like present days, to practice boxing. Therefore, they would use natural materials like banana trees, and beetle palm trees, and coconut trees. The beginner practices on the foot, shin, and punches. At the banana trees, since ancient times, banana trees have been the best practice partner for practicing kicking and punching. They are kicked until they are broken in half. The next is to use the end of the foot to kick. The foot nose is the area below the five toes on your foot. This kicking form is important for blocking or kicking the ribs and temples. This form is even used to break open the coconut. Next is the shoving form, with the foot, the side of the foot, or the heels. The best practice partner for these ancient boxers was the banana tree. Banana trees had many uses in the Thai way of life. Besides its leaves and fruits. After cutting it down, we can use it to feed the animals. In ancient times, when people took a bath, they also practiced various forms. For example, the feet, knees, elbows, and punches. This is to practice turning the body with the crocodile kick. 
When Thai people and kids see an obstacle in front, they will practice to turn the body and kick, turn the body and punch. This is also practice for the eyes. Eyesight is crucial for boxers because good firm eyesight is needed for them to acquire swiftness. In older days, good eyesight was compared to the eyes of an eagle. When an eagle targets its prey, it never misses. Therefore, eyesight is crucial for boxers. The weapons for the body are hands, feet, knees, and elbows. This is also a method to practice the eyesight of ancient boxers or fighters. In ancient times, Thai people even practiced while they were taking a bath. They practiced opening their eyes in the water and putting water in their eyes. This is because during fighting, one, the boxer cannot blink. Two, when sweat enters the eyes, he cannot blink either. This is to practice to gain stability. Summary of the seven series of the relationship of the nine weapons. Chayot Thai boxing is a science and art to exercise Thai people's minds and bodies. It is a heritage that our ancestors have given to this land. The boxer has to meditate and practice his own willpower and imagination. Defend offend and move continuously, swiftly, gently, firmly, strongly and accurately. The mind is a command center of the hands, feet, knees, elbows and eyes. The movement must be harmonious as one, continuous, like a river flows and natural. They should be gentle, flexible, smooth, well-rounded, powerful, and ferocious. Chayot Thai boxing uses the flexibility as force. Combine the lower form with the conscious as one. Defend gently like the wind and attack fiercely like a lion catching its prey. The eyes must be fixed and firm like an eagle. Chayot Thai boxing focuses on developing people's minds for them to become more gentle, disciplined, faithful, grateful, intelligent, smart, loving, kind, firm, stable, patient, strong, reasonable, to know how to be a loser and forgive and to have the knowledge and ability to stand up for justice.